How's it going, guys? We've got something a little bit different here today, or possibly a return to my roots, as far as uh, the, this channel goes. This is Mugen. What is Mugen? No, it's not Mugen. It's Mugen. Um, coming from someone who has studied a bit of Japanese. <laughs> it uh, is basically a customizable 3D... Sorry, 2D fighting game engine. Um, the engine itself basically allows you to customize different aspects as far as what the game looks like, gameplay to an extent, and then characters. So this is sort of a uh, has a big scene on the internet with people porting characters over from other games, creating their own original characters from scratch, and uh, all in all it's a fun time. Actually, back before I got into PC gaming, which was around 2007, I guess. Um, fighting games on consoles were my main my main thing that I would play, so... You know, things like Street Fighter, obviously, Dead or Alive, Tekken, Soul Calibur, um, and then various other slightly more obscure 2D and 3D fighting games. Stuff like Rival Schools, um, Samurai Showdown, Last Blade, I loved all those games. So, uh, you know, Blue against something that very much appeals to me. Now there's a decent amount of uh, Mugen content on YouTube, but uh, to my knowledge there's not a lot of it that has commentary over it, so this is a little bit of an experiment to see if people actually enjoy this. And if not, well, I may stop doing it, or I may just post it without commentary. Um, regardless, if you want to get started with Mugen, there are a few resources that can be fairly helpful, and I'll try to put some of those in the description as far as links go. Um, you do have to set up a lot of stuff yourself to get it to work, so it comes with basically one character and you're going to have to set all the other ones um, by downloading them from various websites and other such things that I won't get into here because that would take up the entire video. But uh, I'll try to post a link to some resources that can help you there if you are interested in this. So basically the point of this series, as uh, I do have some older videos, again, from way back in the beginning of the channel that related to this topic, uh, basically the point is to showcase certain characters that I like using or that I think are interesting, and um, to show them off, basically. As with anything on the channel, there's no sort of claim like, look at me, I'm so hardcore, the best player in the world, blah blah blah. Nope, don't care about that, just sort of showing off uh, the characters and the good work that was put into either porting them or creating them. So the character that I'm playing uh, this time through is Kagami Kyosuke, who is one of the main characters from uh, the Rival Schools series, which is one of my all-time favorite fighting game series, uh, specifically the Dreamcast one, Project Justice. I played so much back in my Dreamcast days. Um, I do still have my Dreamcast hooked up, but I'm primarily a PC gamer now, so I don't touch it too often. Uh, anyways, as somebody who was just about the best darn Project Justice player I've ever seen, um, not that there were that many of those people around, um, I would argue that Kyosuke was probably the strongest character in that, uh, in that series of games, or at least in Project Justice itself, just based upon the number of combos, the amount of damage, health, etc. that uh, he could put out. I could pull off very, very long combos with this guy. And uh, so when Capcom vs. SNK2 came around and they added him as a character to the game, I was quite excited and made him one of my mains in that. Um, I've never been a competitive player when it comes to fighting games, so I pretty much will just play the characters that I like, either cosmetically or I think their moves are interesting, and you know try and get good with those. But uh, he is a fairly interesting character to use, and it was pretty cool in that game. So, take that another step, and now he's been ported to Mugen. And it's a pretty good uh, pretty good port of the Capcom vs. SNK2 version, honestly. Um, he plays pretty much how you would expect, based on that series of games. He's got some, uh, some of the cool mechanics of that thrown in, like the um, Just Defense, where you basically tap forward right as something's about to hit you, and you end up... Uh, you know, blocking it without having to actually go into your block, so you can cancel out of it into a combo, etc. I'm not really sure how technical I'm going to get in these videos, <laughs> as far as the characters go, but um, if you've played a lot of 2D fighting games, you know what I mean. There was an example of it right there, in fact. Um, anyways, 
One thing I am going to try and do is talk about the movesets and how to use these characters a little bit to the extent of my knowledge. So, as far as Kyosuke's moves go, he plays fairly like typical Ryu or Ken in that you're looking at quarter circles, dragon punch motions, and that sort of thing. So quarter circle forward is going to be your projectile attack. Quarter circle forward kick is going to be sort of a an anti-air move. Um, that little uppercut right there is actually a launcher. That's a dragon punch motion punch. Quarter circle back punch does that uh, leaping move right there. And that's actually useful because it hits mid, so if they're blocking, it'll still hit them if they're crouching, rather. Um, and the interesting thing about his fireball move is that it actually arcs, so if they, say, try to fire a Hadouken through it, um, it might hit one of the projectiles, but they still get hit by the other one, so it's it's fairly useful. Um, his special moves function pretty basically, again, you know, two quarter circles forward punch is a powered up version of the projectile move, two quarter circles forward kick is a powerful... Um, uppercut kick combo, you know, it, it's pretty basic stuff. He does also have a level 3 move, which uh, you'll get to see later on in the video, which is basically something that would happen in Project Justice when you would do a team-up attack with three characters. Pretty neat. As with a lot of level 3 specials in... Uh, here it is. That's Hinata and that's Batsu. They were both characters in uh, Rival Schools. But as with most level 3 moves, it's very much probably not worth your time to do it. <laughs> but it looks cool. And that's about it with him. He uh, He's pretty good at comboing, does a decent amount of damage, so you shouldn't have too much trouble uh, playing well with this guy. You can cancel out some of his moves. And what I mean by that is, you know, in the middle of a kick, say if you do a special, um, it'll cancel into it so you can sort of mess around with your combos like that. So he's is a pretty solid character all in all, pretty straightforward, which is, you know, it's always good. Maybe not the most interesting character to play, but for me, just being able to play a character from the Rival School series is a very cool thing. And, uh, if I do start doing this as a regular series, I may have to actually make these videos longer, because by the time I actually talk about how the character works, the, uh, time's always almost up. But, uh, you know, we'll get there, right? Um... So we're almost done here, but uh, basically this is the format. You're going to be looking at around five matches. I'll discuss the character and how they work, why they're cool, why you should care about them, and uh, then I will put a link to download them in the description. Again, I'm not going to be really giving any info on how to set up Mugen because there are other people who are much better at explaining that than I am. But uh, let me know what you thought. I do see this being kind of a cool thing because, again, it's sort of a unique thing. Sort of. And I've been thinking that I needed to set up a couple new shows on the channel, maybe, just to make it a little bit more interesting. There's our epic finish. Hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.